Hi, my name is Sebastian from Shonko Music and I want to show you in this video how I control with my master keyboard motor 61 from Behringer, my hydro synthesizer. The maximum benefit of this is that you can control more parameter at once. So you have group A, B, C, D, I call it that way, it's from 1 to 8, from 9 to 60, up to uh, 32. And I, what I made here is first of all a template for all patches, so these are the basics. What are my basics? My basics are filter 1, filter 2, noise. Then I have here on the second band 9 to 16 the volumes, oscillator 1 to 3 and ring modulator. I have the pans, here I have my wave scan oscillator 1 and 2. Uh, Pre-FX, post-FX and the mutants dry wet signal and at the end of the day here at the home screen I have here my macros. So and this is beautiful because you know when you have a hydro synthesizer you have filter 1 and filter 2. If you change the bank here fil to filter 1 you change the values and jump to filter 2 then you're out of control. Okay you can change it from um, recognize the last position when you change the value or um, um, recognize it instantly so the, the jump modus but here now it's for me much better. So at the end of the day I'm loading my template or my template based on the path and you can run through all these sliders positions. So, and what you see here is the filter one. You can see it here, this is filter one. This is the value with the LED ring here. When I'm changing that, So and this is so important for me because when I create a hydrosyn patch like this and you you have the, the basics and you say okay now it's fine and you don't know the hydrosynth or maybe you know the hydrosynth, this is a very powerful machine because if you change some things on a little way you have completely different results so it's based on the modulation matrix so I also I have also the DeepMind 12 from, from um, Behringer. I will do also a, a video about the synthesizers, also very powerful, but it's analog and this is Ryan Digital here. But the most important benefit is that you can control more parameters instantly. So this is my bank A, filter 1, this is my uh, cutoff, resonance and drive. This is my um, resonance. And why I choose this patch to show you um, what I'm doing here is uh, so, so for me so important because what you now hear the pumping is in the background the LFO. It's the five here, it's um, a saw down and when I reduce this I go up. I call it slabs. You have the noise slabs in the background. And what more important is now the cutoff when I jump back is, is nearly closed. And when I open this, then you hear oscillator one, the bass pumping. So when I close this filter again, you hear it's a complete different sound. And when I jump now to my next bank, and here I have the volumes, oscillator 1, 2 and 3, and I go down with 2 and 3, and I open the ring modulator, And I close it. Mm -hmm. 
And when you're playing now with this patch and you want not modulate or automate something, but you want change it for you, so it's a kind of modulation, I mean not a, a program modulation or a automatic modulation if you want to do it manually. So, I close the filter. I go back and change the pan oscillator 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is my overall stereo width. So most people use this uh, last um, fader mostly for master volume. Here it's my master stereo width. So when I change this, Closed, open. So, oscillator one. Fully open, two, three, ring is closed. And that's why it's so important. Now I jump between all my values and I can see, ah, okay, if you know what you've programmed here, what is and what is not. So, and this is a absolutely phenomenal benefit for me. And yeah, that's the reason why I bought this Motor 61 for situations like that. So normally you can also use these encoders but I don't use that for now. So I can uh, change also the LFO or something, stuff like that. But for now, I use only that motorized faders to control the hydro synthesizer. So if you have the chance to check this keyboard out or you get it maybe used, I'm not sure if you can buy it new. This is a really, really nice master keyboard for this kind of situation. And like I told, the hydro is a very powerful machine and very very often i had problems to recreate the patches so i learned to save and save and save but at the end of the day when i for example change complete all and save that patch on the synthesizer and i don't save the new configuration to a template i make a new template here i can see backwards what was the last values and if you believe it or not um, with these parameters I have here, um, especially of course the uh, macro controls from the from the home screen here uh, with the Hydra synthesizer, um, you can with these 32 parameters um, change in a big way the patch. So this is this is you cannot change the modulation matrix or, or assign uh, macros here but for me this is a very very great uh, um, um, possibility to change patches inside of the uh, to change parameters uh, from the patches inside the hydra synthesizer with external gear like this to complete and fulfill the patches um, and make that for me um, in a good way to create from a patch a new patch so often um, you have also the random functions it's very a very powerful unique feature not unique other synthesizer or software synthesizer have also a random function but here if you use a random function you have the possibility to decide like uh, with a cork um, um, a wave stat or something like that um, the, the the kind of uh, percentage you want to change on some some functions but if you have a great um, patch and you want to create from this patch another patch 
then it's often a very very helpful if you uh, get lost in all the parameters that you have a kind of this um, overview and use it with a hydro synthesizer i hope it's a little bit clear sometimes <laughs> i don't know how exactly i explain this in english but maybe i think um, for now you um, can imagine what i mean here so yeah this was my little tutorial and um, i don't know if 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 on the market are other keyboards that have that function i'm not sure so i hope that um, other manufacturer maybe think about that because this is a new unique feature and it was not very expensive this master keyboard so i think um, around 350 euros so for for this is very unique my next uh, step is to do this uh, for my um, deep mind 12 beringer so that's uh, the next session i want to make and then i show you my results so thank you for watching have a nice day and maybe we see us soon for now i say bye bye Thank you.